Hey there, uh, my name is Andy Clifton. This is Clay Station Live. Uh, this is my Clay Studio. Um, today's video is just more or less I'm going to give you a little bit of an update. Um, I've done a few different videos um, that have been just all about kind of the, the process of getting ready for a, a trade show. Um, the show that I'm getting ready for is called Ceramic Showcase, which is um, happens in Portland, Oregon, at the Oregon Convention Center. Uh, it is in uh, five weeks from now, and which basically means I'm kind of at the end of being able to create the forms that I need to create. Uh, in, in ceramics, it's considered the end of wet work. Um, and then the last... Uh, Four weeks up into the show, I'll be just glazing pieces. Um, so <clears throat> today, what I'm going to do is actually demonstrate. Well, demonstrate or actually just work in the studio. Um, I'm making some big porcelain forms, bottle forms, and uh, base forms. Um, I'm a little bit out of breath because I just wedged up a bunch of clay. This is my clay here, porcelain. Cone, cone 6 porcelain. It's rather stiff, um, but perfect um, to throw bigger stuff um, with. Um, I'll talk about some of the challenges of, of working with drier clay versus wetter clay when I start throwing. I'm just going to wedge this up just a little bit more here. So, um, getting onto the wheel, actually, I just want to share one thing here with you. Um, so, um, this is a, a new chair that I got, which is this, um, it's basically, you know, it's got the real heavy bottom. It's similar to actually sitting on a ball, um, one of those exercise balls. Uh, but what it enables you to do, and it, in fact, it's, I just, I got it about, oh, two months ago, and it's really helped my back out considerably on the wheel. Um, and it's also easy to get on and off of, um, it's, uh, really kind of changed uh, my back problem somewhat um, while throwing on the wheel. If you notice right next to me, I have this wheel too. It's a wheel that I stand on when I'm throwing, um, and that um, also helps. It just gives you a lot of different positions to work from. Um, and the, the cool thing also about this, this um, chair is it goes at different heights. So once I get up to here, I can actually hire this and comfortably sit here and work on that. Um, and so it's, it's really um, added a lot of, I don't know, it's, it's been really helpful, I guess, for my process. All right, so let's get to it. Now, with this ball of clay, um, like I said at the beginning of the video, that the clay is pretty stiff. Um, it's porcelain. Uh, stiffer clay makes it harder to center, makes it harder to wedge. Um, but it also makes it easier to actually throw thinner and higher and larger forms. This is um, about 12 to 13 pounds of porcelain. 
half of a 25 pound bag. So first thing I'm doing is just coning it up. As you're watching, if you have any questions, I can see your questions and I'd be happy to answer anything. Otherwise, I'll comment a little bit, but I'll mainly just be working. So with stiffer play, this part is certainly a little bit more physical, physical, physically challenging. So first thing that I'm going to do is throw a cylinder, and then we'll change that cylinder, or turn the cylinder into a base, actually into a bottle. And so I'll share with you some techniques to successfully do that. Alright, so now I'm going to open the form up. the depth at this point, about a half inch. Uh, I'm doing just a bottle form, so I'm going to make this, I'm not trimming like a big foot on it or anything, so I'll make it just a little bit over a quarter of an inch, since, since it's a bigger form, I'll make it a little bit thicker. Hi right, Michelle. So right now, I'm currently making uh, my biggest pieces because um, it's, you know, the, I'm working with porcelain so I gotta dry them super slow. I got lots of different viewpoints. Um, I gotta dry them pretty slow since they're porcelain about you know, over two weeks at a time. Again, I'm going to measure how deep this is. 